In today's video, we are going to be doing Toshiro's Evolution. Um, if you guys don't know what this is, uh, basically we go ahead and take a look at all of uh, Toshiro's forms and versions in the game and just check out how he was evolved in the game of Bleach Brave Souls. This of course will be including the new Thousand Year Blood War arc version of Toshiro. So um, I was actually waiting for this to happen. I was waiting for him to drop so I could do this video because a lot of you guys have been requesting this. And uh, you know, it's actually, I'm excited to do this. So, you know, without further ado, let's go ahead and and get into it so the way I wanted to go ahead and structure this is different than what um, I've done on the other ones I'm not gonna go in order for the first part I'm just gonna go ahead and tackle the meadow exchange version the frenzy version and then this one version that we got of Toshiro that was basically free uh, we're gonna go ahead and tackle it at the start and then we're gonna move on with the rest of the Toshiro so first off we have power Toshiro um, nothing very special about him we were we actually got him off a event uh, during winter last year and uh, yeah he's not great he's actually a remake i believe of the meadow exchange toshiro uh which is a speed version as well um they both are basically the same he has 517 sp and 554 attack so not that great um he does freeze through his normal attacks strong attacks and specials so that's the only thing he's got going but that's basically what toshiro gets as a character in the game he always has that so it's not like they gave that specifically to these characters. Of course, there's another one that is uh, Frenzy Toshiro. He is a little different. He doesn't have the strongest uh, SP or the strongest attack or even the greatest uh, skills, but he does have 18% strong attack damage plus uh, freeze duration. So he does have that going for him. He has a better link than the other two because uh, the other two, the metal exchange and the power uh, uh, Toshiro are actually just freeze duration. So um, I guess Frenzy Toshiro has that going for him but all in all these three are not that great they're just in the game for uh i guess they gave them to us for orbs and just to complete orders and i don't know i really kind of feel like they overdid it with all these different toshiros but you know i guess orbs is what they did it for in my opinion so that right there are the three that really aren't that great we're gonna get those out of the way but now we move on uh to a holiday version the white day toshiro um so he has 604 attack 589 sp and he does have Br uh, bruiser with 30 percent and berserker with 40 percent so uh, two pretty nice skills there. Of course, he, uh, Berserker is not Frenzy, so Frenzy would have been better, but Berserker is the second best, I would say, and 40, you know, having 40 is actually really good. Again, like the others, he inflicts freeze through his normal attacks, strong attacks, and special. Um, you know, of course, the best thing of that being uh, his special, because um, he does inflict that, and it does last oh, quite a while. Um, his soul trait is 11% dodge, so... Uh, not that great for him you know i wouldn't say he's the best pvp character but you know that's a good uh soul trait to use on a character you know just link that up uh, dodge links are pretty good for pvp so uh decent i guess in that area but you know all in all i think this was just uh, a kind of outdated toshiro uh this was released last year not this uh current year uh but last year during the white day summons so uh yeah i guess outdated but decent if you still want to use them next up we have swimsuit toshiro uh this one actually was pretty cool uh because last year he was released originally and he was in the banner and all but this year when we got the swimsuit characters again uh, we actually got him for free which was really nice of Caleb. um of course really nice because we get orbs and he's actually not a bad option he's not the greatest uh don't get me wrong don't think that i'm over hyping him i just uh think he's actually pretty fun to use if you want to just try out some uh different character um he has soul trait of minus 12 percent recharge time on a strong attack so that's great uh for spamming his strong attacks he has 587 attack with 556 sp which are not the greatest but what he does have in terms of uh, skills kind of make makes up for that he does have frenzy which is awesome because it doubles his strong attacks and then um you know he does have bruiser i believe i i think it's 20 percent, which isn't the greatest but like i said uh frenzy doubles his strong attacks having 12 percent recharge time it's just i guess a decent fun option to use um he does look pretty cool too because he's like in swimwear apparel i don't know it, it looks pretty cool he's unique he still has his ice uh you know he still inflicts uh freezing through his strong attacks normal attacks and special so i mean you still get that ax aspect of toshiro but i guess just a little different look to him 
Moving on, we have Halloween Toshiro. Uh, this is a pretty cool character. I actually am super, uh, like, I'm, I'm kind of jealous I don't have him. Like, uh, last year when he was uh, released again, I think that was his second year uh, of being out. So, uh, it's been, he's been out for a long time now. Uh, I mean, I think it's almost two years that he's been out. And, uh, you know, he's a decent option still. I think for the most part, the reason why I'm kind of jelly that I don't have him is just he looks so cool. Um, he is ranged, so he has that going for him. He, he has a freeze duration through his uh, soul trait, which is kind of a downer. Uh, but he does have 585 attack and 601 SP. Um, his skills are actually pretty good as well, though. He has frenzy, adrenaline, and bruiser. So uh, his normal attacks will get that extra range. And then um, his strong attacks um, have double hits, which is awesome. I really do like that about him. And, uh, you know, of course, you get the freezing through all of that as well and his special. Um, I think this character, for the most part, he just is a really unique looking Toshiro and someone that I would like to have for that reason. Not because he's overpowered, not because he's the best Toshiro in the game, but just because he looks really cool and he's unique in uh, certain aspects. <laughs> Next up, we've got Mind Toshiro. Uh, this one uh, was the first really, really, really good Toshiro. Um, he's decent still, uh, but back when he was first released, he was amazing because uh, we hadn't seen or we haven't had uh, a Mind character of his uh, his caliber. He's so good. So let me go ahead and. Uh, break him down so he does have 622 sp with 644 attack um, he does freeze through his normal attacks and strong attacks he also has 12 percent recharge time so as you guys see he can actually spam his uh, strong attacks and what really makes this character so good is that he has one of the best specials in the game he has bombardment and uh, debilitator i believe so that means that he hits super hard and he also freezes and the freeze lasts for a long time. So, uh, like I said, I think this might even be one of the better uh, specials out of all the Toshiros. Um, I would even go as far as to say that it might be even a little bit better than the next one coming up. But uh, yeah, all in all, man, this one was a pretty cool uh, version of him. This was released back when uh, the Karakura uh, fight gotcha came out with Shunsui and Jushiro. So that one was like one of the first really hyped gotchas that I remember uh, from playing the game and making videos actually. So a uh, really cool version of Toshiro. I think this was actually the first really good uh, version. And I think this was the first canon version. So they kind of had to make them good. But uh, moving along, uh, several months later, we were introduced to the Fulbring arc, and in that Fulbring arc, we were introduced to Fulbring Toshiro, and this one was awesome because I was able to pack him from the very, very start, so I know how good this character really is, and at the start, when he was first released, he was one of the, he was the best heart character in my opinion. Um, of course, after several gotchas with different characters like Tsukishima and all that, uh, he kind of was, uh, you know, forgotten about. But I still think even to this day, he's a great character. So let's go ahead and talk about what this character has in terms of uh, stats. So he has 630 attack with 20% bruiser, uh, which is nice because it increases his normal attack. He also has 688 SP with frenzy. So um, he was one of those first characters that, uh, that was able to almost reach to 700 SP. And the fact that he has Frenzy, and then he also has a his soul trait of a strong attack damage plus 20%, it just makes him so, so good with the, with the strong attack. So, um, yeah, just add that all together. 688 SP, Frenzy, and then he also gets 20% strong attack damage from his soul trait. You've got a really hard hitting strong attack character here. And of course, like all the other Toshiros, his strong attacks and normal attacks inflict freeze. So um, he has a good chance of freezing the enemies, which I do find him doing quite often, which is awesome. I really like that about him. His special though is also just amazing. Um, I did say that mine Toshiros is a little bit better. I believe that's because mine has uh, bombardment while he only has devastation, but it's still great man it's still a great special it's super hard and debilitator which he also has uh makes the freeze last for a long time i think an, an extra five seconds so uh like i said man this version of toshiro was a lot better than the mind version 
uh, in terms of strong attacks and overall just a better character and uh, like I said he's been overlooked uh, for a long time and for since he started since he came out because uh, when Tsukishima came out like a month after he came out everyone was talking about him instead of Toshiro and it's like Toshiro is still an amazing character so just keep that in mind <laughs> But that brings us to the freaking current time and date and uh, we get this bad boy or should I say <laughs> bad man um, adult Toshiro uh, this is the thousand year blood war arc version um, and this one is just amazing 638 attack which is actually pretty good better than the last previous two versions but what really really stands out about this character is he has 749 sp with frenzy so same kind of thing as uh full bring toshiro but 749 sp that's that's just insane um he currently actually has the highest sp in the game so that's that's you know a big thing he has a soul trait of minus 12 percent recharge time which is amazing as well he gets to spam his strong attacks hitting super hard but he also gets to spam them which is just ridiculous he also has debilitator which uh really helps out his special his special i believe this one is the hardest hitting out of all of them um i can't like i can't take that away from him and, and it's just the most beautiful looking one in my opinion i think this uh special is i think my second favorite in the whole game uh, right behind Sejin. So, uh, yeah, awesome special. I love it. I love it. I love it. He freezes through normal attacks, strong attacks, and his special. Um, I don't know, man. There's not much, uh, there's nothing really bad about him. The only thing I guess you could say is that his soul trait is minus 12% recharge time, and it could have been maybe 20% strong attack damage. It would have been better for PvP or whatnot. Uh, but in reality, I don't think that really matters. Uh, it just makes him that much better in PvE, and of course, I've said this in the past, PvE and PvP are the biggest things in the game, um, and I think PvE is just slightly better and more important in my opinion, so, uh, you know, his soul trait is just fine, and he's actually a great option, even still, in PvP. I know this because Jen has him, I don't, so, huh. I'm taking it from Jennifer's word, so, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sure he's great, I'm sure that Jennifer is doing him justice he's an amazing character and i'm still hoping to get get him very soon um but anyways that is the character evolution for toshiro this one's slightly longer of a video just because there's so many versions to this character it's kind of ridiculous in my opinion but um that is it man i freaking am so excited to summon for this new toshiro that's coming up on his individual banner which is in like an, a couple of days i'm really excited i'm hoping i could get him um let me know what you guys think about all his versions in the game what do you think uh they did different that just made him that much better um and also go check out my videos uh in the description i'll have a link to my previous evolution videos um i'm sure you'll enjoy them especially the one that i recently uploaded which was sejin's evolution that one includes human sejin so please if you haven't already go check that out anyways that is it for the video i love you all so much let me know in the comments who you want to see next as a in an evolution video and i will surely do that for you guys uh, with that said though i love you all so much and i will see you guys in the next one peace